In 2018, Google underwent a massive transformation in renaming Google AdWords, Google Ads. In short, it might not seem too big on the surface, but it actually was. Historically, the platform was mostly focused on search keywords, and businesses' ads could show if the keyword that they typed in was closely related to the search term that the user input in the search box. But Google's focus started to shift away to other campaign types that leveraged other areas of Google's network like YouTube, Gmail, and Google Maps. So by removing words from the Google AdWords name, Google was implying that other campaign types would be front and center inside of users' accounts. We've talked a lot about campaign types like Performance Max on this channel, and that's exactly what Google's intent was with changing the name of the platform. But even in 2024, if you want to have a successful account, you have to get the fundamentals right. Keyword match types like broad, phrase, and exact have evolved over the years, but they're still essential for you to understand. And as an online marketing coach, I've even created a video describing what these different match types are and what my recommended setup is for most businesses out there. But if you have a Google Ads account and you've been running it for a while, you have enough data inside of your account to be able to make an informed decision for what match type is right for you. You'll have a better idea for which match type has been doing the best for you. And I'm gonna give you some action items for what you can do with this information after you learn it to have a better Google Ads account. And make sure to stick around to the end because I have a free tool that I'm going to link you to on my website that will help you as you input broad, phrase, or exact match keywords into your Google Ads account. If we haven't met yet, my name's Scott Redgate. I've been in digital marketing for over 13 years. And the purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you can manage your own digital marketing campaigns without hiring an expensive agency that doesn't understand your business to do it for you. Hey, before we dive in, I have a free gift for you. It's my PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. If you want to save thousands of dollars inside of your Google Ads account, download this document today at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So let me show you how easy it is to find the report where you can see how your different keyword match types are performing. So the first way that you can find this reports editor is by simply in this top search box up here, typing in report, and then you'll see the report editor so you can click that. Or what you can do is underneath this insights and reports section here, and yes, this is the new Google Ads interface, you'll see the reports editor down here. And so I'm gonna select that. And Google has done something really nice recently. Um, they've created templates um, that you can uh, sort through and see if there's any information that you're looking to get from your Google Ads campaigns. And then you can simply uh, select that template and then it's gonna populate all the stats for each of these things. Unfortunately, the report that we need is not one of the templates and so we're gonna have to manually create it. And so to do that, we're gonna select Create Report. And here on this right side where it says search metrics and dimensions, what we need to find is match types, keyword match type. So I'm going to type that in and then I see search keyword match type. So we're going to put that in as a row. All right. And so once we've done that, it then spits back exact phrase and broad. And now we need to start filling this table up with statistics to be able to make an informed decision. Now, one call out here, this account does not have a lot of data. So they have not done a lot of search uh, search campaigns inside of Google Ads. And so I had to make the date range extremely wide. So this is going from uh, December of 2021 to December of 2023. Now, if your account is very active, uh, what I would recommend is using a recent set of data. So if you spend a lot of money in Google Ads, and let's say you use the last 90 days and that can fill up this chart and it's uh, enough data to make an informed decision, do that. Make it as recent as possible, but if you don't have that luxury, like I, I don't have that luxury in this example, then you can make the date range wider. All right, so now that we've selected keyword match type as the row, let's start filling this table in with some statistics. So let's get, I'll do clicks, I'll do cost, I'll do impressions. And it baffles me that in some instances, Google abbreviates some of these words. So you'll see IMPR. So if you were to type out impressions all the way, it wouldn't load anything. Um, so we've got clicks, impressions, costs. Let's get conversion value in there. 
Excellent. And then let's do a, a similar metric to return on ad spend. So we're going to do conversion value over cost, which is right here. Excellent. All right. So now that we've done that, and I will sort from clicks high to low, all right, we can see for uh, the different match types here what the stats are or what the performance is. So I can see that this account has used broad match as the number one keyword match type. It spent $7.6,000 to make $24,000, which is a conversion value over cost of 3.22. Now, depending on the margins of the products of this particular company, that could be good or bad. Uh, and that's the case for all of these. It completely depends on what the margins are for the products for the business. Um, but you can see here, Phrase match is $2.8,000 for 4.6. So phrase match is not performing as well as broad match in this example. And then exact match, it's hardly been used. It's only spent $75 and it's made $411, which is a conversion value over cost of 5.47, all right? So exact match is performing the best with a small sample size, then broad, then phrase. You might be thinking to yourself that this is strange because I thought exact match was the most specific. So I would expect um, exact to be number one, which it is, but why is broad match performing better than phrase? Um, this could depend on a variety of factors. So maybe in this account, maybe the keywords that this business has put on phrase match is really poor, not good choices. Um, and so yes, even though phrase match is a um, closer intent uh, for the keyword compared to broad match, if they've chosen uh, worse keywords, then that could lead to worse performance. And it could also deal with how their campaign structure is set up in terms of bidding. All right. So let's say these broad match keywords are using automated bidding with a particular goal in mind. So the system is trying to hit a particular performance target. Whereas let's say these phrase match keywords are set to manual bidding and the company hasn't really taken the time um, to investigate or look at it. That could also impact it there. All right. Now, let's say your campaign structure across the board is really strong. You're really confident in it. You can use this information um, to say, maybe I should invest more in one keyword match type versus another. So for example, let's say you come in here and phrase match and exact match are really crushing it. And broad match, while it's getting a lot of clicks, let's say the performance is really poor. You might take that information and say, well, I'm gonna shift a little bit of my funds to phrase and exact. I'm gonna invest a little bit more there and decrease my investment in broad match, okay? So you can use this information to help you decide which keyword match types you're gonna focus on. But what you can also use this information for, like in this situation, where phrase match is performing um, almost at a 50% level compared to broad match, I would use this to investigate the campaign structure and the um, bid strategy. For this campaign, that would be my number one thing that I would do is I wouldn't necessarily say, okay, phrase match is bad. I'm gonna pause all phrase match um, and put everything in broad. For this campaign, I would look at the overall structure to see how things are set up. And I'd also look at the quality of keywords that I'm including. So in this particular example, am I is there a big difference between my broad match keywords and phrase match keywords? And maybe what I could do is uh, take the time to do better keyword research and come up with better phrase match keywords in this situation as well. All right, so yeah, in summary, it's super easy to get to this report, and this is in the reports editor, and all we did was we uh, selected the row search keyword match type, and we filled it in with the different statistics, and then this allowed us to see which search keyword match types are performing the best for us, and that can help us make informed decisions on whether or not we shift funds from one match type to another, or we reevaluate our bidding strategy, or we reevaluate the keywords that we're including in each of the different match types. Hey, I hope that video was helpful for you. And if you're looking for an easier way to select the different match types for the keywords that you input in Google Ads, make sure to go to the URL that I have here, or I'll also put it in the description of this video. Hey, thank you so much. Could you do me a favor? Like and subscribe to this channel to give me a little momentum in YouTube's algorithm. Take care.